There are several new smaller features with the X4 that are really easy to miss, so here they are in less than three minutes. Quick capture has been upgraded, and you can now change the shooting mode that the camera records in when it turns on, including both 360 and single lens mode, as well as being able to select the resolution and frame rate and other parameters. There's now a mega field of view option, and this can be selected in the app or the studio when reframing and it's super wide with less distortion. There's a screen reader feature that will read out to you when the battery is low and also reads out loud what shooting mode you have selected. There's also a highlights assist feature that analyzes your footage while you film. And this looks for highlights in your footage, which makes it easier for selecting clips when you're editing. There's also an auto wind noise reduction feature in the menu. So now when it's windy, you don't have to think about turning wind reduction on in the menu. Almost all of the smaller X3 accessories are not compatible with the X4. The speed reader and the mic adapter from the X3 do fit the X4, but they don't work. I do find it really frustrating that Insta360 don't try and make these smaller accessories backwards compatible. Instead of making customers buy these accessories over and over again with every new camera they purchase. There's now a power mode feature in the menu that when selected means that when you connect your camera to a power source, it will turn on and start recording straight away. And this is perfect for when you want to use your camera as a dash cam for example. You can now customize the Q button and the menu button. There are nine different options to choose from for the Q button and four different options for the menu button. So you can turn these buttons into additional record buttons if you want to and a lot more. You can now cancel a recording if you started too soon or change your mind. Once selected in the menu, you then just long press the record button after recording has started and you'll have the option to cancel. In the playback menu, you can transfer and download individual clips by selecting this icon here. And you'll immediately get a notification on your phone from the app asking you to confirm the download. You don't even need to connect the app first. When you're exporting a clip, if you get interrupted with a phone call or a notification, you can close the app and it will pause the export. It won't stop it altogether. And then when you open the app again, it will resume exporting. The GPS preview remote does work with the X4, but you can also connect your Apple and Garmin watch as well for GPS and stats overlay. The X4 now has helmet headset support, so you can pair it with your headset and have hands-free voice control and clear audio while you're riding your motorbike. There's no reason why these smaller feature updates can't be introduced to the X3 as well, but we'll have to wait and see. You can watch this beginner tips video next to help you get the most out of your X4 and I'll see you over there.